A fiercely competitive two-sport athlete, Tara Houlihan Whiting raised the level of play for herself and her teammates on the Gustavus women's tennis and volleyball teams. She started at number five on our team and uh, slowly climbed the ladder to where she was number two or number one by the end of the year. And I knew when we were on our spring break freshman year and we played a very tough team and she won her match 6-0, 6-1, that I had a special competitor and a special player. After earning all conference honors on the women's tennis team her first year and compiling a mark of 16 and six at number two singles and 17 and four at number two doubles, Houlihan Whiting responded with All-America honors in both singles and doubles in her sophomore season, registering records of 17 and five in number one singles and 17 and five in number one doubles. Tara became, came in as a good singles player, but really, developed as a doubles player as time went on. Lindsay brought the movement and Tara really learned doubles by playing with Lindsay. And uh, I think Lindsay just raised the level of her play playing with someone as talented as Tara. Partnering with Lindsay Palin Crossley in doubles during their junior campaign, the duo made it all the way to the NCAA Division III doubles championships, where they won the title over teammates Lauren Hamm and Kara Smiley. She finished the season with records of 16 and seven at number one singles and 18 and five at number one doubles. We always knew that she could raise her level of play regardless of who her opponent was. I think that her consistency of effort and uh, was an example to the rest of the team. Houlihan Whiting saved her best for last as she compiled marks of 18 and seven at number one singles earning a bid to the NCAA singles tournament and 26 and two at number one doubles, claiming her second consecutive NCAA national title with partner Palin Crossley. Houlihan Whiting finished her tennis career with four all-conference honors, five All-America honors, two national championships, and an overall record of 67 and 25 in singles and 78 and 16 in doubles. She brings it that same energy level, the same attitude every, every practice, every day. And she is an outstanding example of how you need to be if you're going to be successful at an elite level. And uh, I know she did that in volleyball and she did it in tennis. On the volleyball court, Houlihan Whiting was a three-year starter who graduated with the school record in career digs with 1,226, currently sixth, and she still holds the school record for double doubles, digs and kills in a career with 43, and single season with 19. We really relied on her offense when she was in the front row, but she really was a great defender as well. So we relied on her in service eve, or relied on her for digs. Um, she was someone that really had to cover a lot of um, parts of the floor, and so she was someone that we counted on a lot. She ranks 20th all-time in career kills with 908. Houlihan Whiting, who did not compete her senior season in order to study in Ecuador, Colombia, and Peru, earned all conference honors in her junior season. When I think of Tara, I just, again, go back to that competitiveness, um, the spark she brings to the team, and to have that competitiveness and really bring our team to the next level um, is something that she did for us. We knew coming in, international business was really important to her, and she would be studying abroad, and she was not gonna give up a tennis season. And so we knew we'd have her for three years, but that just really stood out for me. We will take you for as many years as we can get you, and we're just, I'm um, happy that she joined the team. After graduating in 2006 with a major in international business, Houlihan Whiting was a tennis teaching professional at the Minnetonka Country Club for three years. Since 2007, she's been the general manager of two Wayne and Mary's Nutrition Centers. Tara and her husband Tyrell live in Sioux Falls, South Dakota with their children, Trinity, Taryn, Tennille, and Tristan.